Hi guys, so um, I got requested to do a video for my ta favourite um, top 10 albums of 2013 and it got me thinking about other things that maybe are my favourite, so my favourite top 10 songs of 2013. So I figured I would do a video and talk about my favourite um, songs and why. Um, that being said, this was really difficult to whistle down to 10 because there have been some an amazing songs this year by um, so many incredible artists. So it's been difficult, but I have a top 10. Um, again, I'm going to do a few honourable mentions like I did in my album one. Um, first of all, um, I want to just make a, a big shout out to Block B. Um, I know Very Good was a, a great song and it was a great album, but for me, Be The Light is one of the songs of the year. I think that song is incredible and uh, I'm very surprised that, uh, that Block B released a song like that. Um, I don't think they were that was their style but it just goes to show how incredibly talented they are. So yeah, Be The Light is definitely one of my favourites. Um, Shaking Heart by Sea Clown is also one of my favourites and it's a song that made me fall in love with Sea Clown to be honest with you. Um, I still don't have their album, it's really annoying, but they are coming back soon so yay! Um, Henry's Trap, um, I wasn't really aware of Henry too much, I know he was in Super Junior M, but I was really impressed with um, with that song, I love that song, it gets played an awful lot, um, and I do want to get his album at some point, um, I'm not quite sure when then. And then um, 21's Missing You, um, which almost made my top 10, um, however I kind of forgot a song and it kind of got moved out of top 10, so it's probably my number 11. Um, I love Missing You so much, it's so beautiful, and I'm so excited for their new album, um, so, yeah. Um, there's a couple more that I want to just mention, they're not singles that were released, but they're off albums. Um, obviously Troublemaker came back, and although they, um, they came back with Now, um, it's actually another song off the album called Attention, which I absolutely love. Um, and if you don't own the album um, or you don't know the song, please check it out because it's a really good, it's a fun song. It kind of, I always play it when I play Sangri's Gigi Bay. Uh, it's that kind of just fun sort of music. It's just great. So, yeah, I really love that song. And then, and I go on about it so much, but Shiny's I'm With You, which was, is a, a track off the Japanese album. Um, I just, it's just one of the most beautiful songs in K-pop history and I wish that they would release it as a single because, oh, oh it's beautiful, but hey ho, there we go. Right, so, um, number 10 is CM Blue's Blind Love, this is off this album here, it is released as a single. Um, off the album, yeah, it's it's great, um, but it's actually live that I, I think it comes into its own. And I've said this before, I think, with CM Blue and with FG Island, they're an amazing band, but live, they're incredible. So they've got some amazing performances of Blind Love, um, so please check them out, because that's the reason why it's made it into my top ten. Um, number nine is Miracle in December, um, even though it's a Christmas song. I, I say that, I don't quite know why I say that, it still counts. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I love Miracle in December. It's one of the most beautiful um, ballads. I think after Shiny's I'm With You, it's possibly my second favourite ballad ever in K-pop history. I just, well, maybe not ever. Hmm, I'm not sure. But it's definitely up there. Definitely my top ten of ballads. So, yeah. Um, number eight is um, Shinwa's This Love. Um, again, I don't own Shinwa's album, so I can't, like, produce it. But, um, yeah, I love that song so I don't think I'm ever going to get bored of that song. Um, but yeah, so Shinwa's This Love, which oh, I just love so much. Um, I wish I could get up and dance to it, but I can't dance, so there we go. Um, then uh, number seven is FG Island's Memory, and I love this song because it's different to what FG Island normally do. It's got a bit more, I don't know, it just seems, it was a surprise when I heard it, so... Um, but a good surprise, I love it. I love the song and I, I love, I just love it. I think it's an amazing, amazing song and there's so much um, heart, heart, there's so much heart and passion that gone into it. I'm sorry if I'm fumbling over words, I'm just getting over a cold, so. Uh. Um, but yeah, no, I really love it. So um, um, I've always considered myself to be a bit of a prima donna, so um, I, it's a special song for me, so yeah. Uh, then number six is 
um, not a song that I own, well I mean I own it because I downloaded it off iTunes, but it's by a group called Wonder Boys and it's called Tarzan. Um, and it was a digital, I think it was a digital single, um, so there wasn't like an album or anything with it. But it is one of the most, if not the most, underrated K-pop song ever. If you've not heard it, please please go and find it, Tarzan by Wonder Boys, and that's boys with a Z on the end. Um, this song is, is very kind of reggaeton, um, it's very unique to the K-pop industry, and if you don't know Tarzan, shame on you, shame on you, uh, go and find it now. Not wait till I've gotten to the end and then go and find it. <laughs> but yeah, I love that song and it's always on every single playlist. I probably have it played in some of my videos as well in the background. Um, then number five is BAP's One Shot, um, still my favourite BAP song of all time, and to my favourite BAP video, I still cannot get over Young Jay and his betrayal. Oh, but um, no, I just, I just love everything about One Shot, I think it's such an amazing song, and oh, I just love it so much. Oh. Anyway, yes, so I, I love it because it's fierce and it's just BAP all over, so... Um, yeah, I'm sure babies will agree. It's awesome. And then um, number four is I got a boy. I got a boy. I'm sorry, I shouldn't sing. I should know by now. I should just not sing. Uh, I've got a boy, which I mean, it's got like a ridiculous amount of views on YouTube. It's like seventy. Is it seventy million views or something on YouTube? Well, it's got a lot. It's like video of the year, song of the year, blah 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 blah. Well, I just think it's amazing. And again, I cannot wait for their comeback. Um, I don't, I think, I just, well, I love Girls' Generation anyway, but I, even if you don't like Girls' Generation, it's a great song. I know not everybody thinks it's a great song, but I do. Makes me want to get up and dance. It makes me want to sing along. And it's just a really fun um, song. I'm not a big fan of the video. I like the styling of it. Um, I don't really understand why there's one guy and nine girls in their videos. Like, do they not get a boy of their own? It just seems to be like rather than I've got a boy, it's we've all got the same boy. What is that? Oh, anyway. <laughs> anyway, never mind. Um, yes, yeah, so that's number four. Then number three. I'm really sorry, but I am biased. Sangri, gotta talk to you. Which, when I heard it, was just like, I just, I remember hearing the teasers and just thinking, whoa. And then I remember the sexy teasers, I was like, whoa, hello. And then the song was just completely different to what I imagined him to be, and oh, I'm just so proud of my baby panda. So that's why he's number three. He's a special place for me. I love him. Um, then the second best song of the year is off G Dragon's Coup d'etat. Now this was a bit difficult for me because I had to choose between Coup d'etat, which is an incredible song, um, or Crooked. But to be honest with you, Crooked one because. Literally, I prefer songs that make me want to get up and dance, not songs that make me want to sit there and cry. And Kuda Tyler Smith's want to sit there going, oh, gee, I'm not <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, Crooked is a really fun um, song, and I love the video because it's shot in London, obviously from the UK, so I was just like, oh, wow, really cool. But yeah, it's really good. It's not my favourite song on the album though. Um, I love it, which is featuring Zeon T and the Boys Noise. It's my favourite song on here. I love this song so much. Um, but yeah, no, I really, really love Crooked. So yeah. And then undoubtedly, song of the year. Is it undoubtedly or undoubtedly? Oh, anyway. Uh, song of the year. Growl. I'm not going to sing it because I, I don't pronounce it well at all. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just I love growl I love the boys I love I don't really watch the growl music video very much but I like to watch the dance um, practice one with Kai at the end when he's like come into my oh no I've got to come to you <laughs> well that's really cute and Ta Tao's arms at the beginning of that video mm. I'm not a big fan of Tao but he's got nice arms anyway perving over <laughs> that's it that's my uh, favorite songs of 2013 if I've missed them or if you could want to tell me uh, your favorite songs that maybe I haven't included or if you agree with any of them then please drop a comment in the box below till next time ciao